this time. Uh, Mr. Fawson, would you please continue with the roll call of the members? Corcoran. Here. Fairchild. Here. Worryman. Here. Hines. Here. Kearney. Here. Neal. Here. Patrick. Here. Cole. Here. Tatman. Here. And everybody's here. Uh, if everybody would, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, the minutes of the previous meeting have been distributed for review. Uh, do I have a motion to accept the minutes as they are? Do we have any corrections? Motion, Mr. Hines, seconded by Mr. Florima. Roll call on the motion to accept our minutes. Corker? Yes. Fairchild? Yes. Florima? Yes. Hines? Yes. Kearney? Yes. Neal? Yes. Patrick? Yes. Roll? Yes. Tap? Yes. And the minutes from the previous meeting have been accepted. Uh, I'm, before we move on to the reports of the committee, I'll, uh, during my speaking time later, I'll uh, bring up that we need to move two of our meeting dates this year uh, on May 8th and December the 24th, so I'll, have, uh, I'll give you the details of that and we'll make a motion to change those dates. Melissa? Yeah, that was done early this year? Yeah, mm -hmm. we're ahead of the game. Okay. Thank I'm you. Mm -hmm. No, no, that's fine. Um, I guess we did we take care of it. Okay, we move on to our reports and committees. Uh, who would like to go first? Uh, Ms. Patrick. Uh, utilities and Transit Committee do not have anything on tonight's agenda. However, I would like to announce a committee meeting, which will be Monday the 21st at 6 o'clock, and it's for assignment number 18-052, and it involves uh, an appropriation of an additional $1,276,000 for the Roscoe program. And that concludes my report. Thank you. Uh, actually, we're not broadcasting at all. All the electric went out up here on the table. Okay, thank right. you, Ms. Patrick. Uh, next uh, committee report, uh, Mr. Tapman. Thank you, President Arnold. The Engineering Committee has four items on the agenda, and I soon have five. Uh, number two is a third reading for the polls for utility poles for antennas attached for cellular service on Bridge Street. Uh, number seven, this is authorization for application agreement with the uh, Public Works Commission Issue 1 grant funds for 2018. Does that need to be passed tonight? Yes. Okay, so it's appropriate time I will ask for wave three read rule on that one. Okay, number eight is authorized, authorized application for Ohio Department of Transportation for 2018 Transportation Alternative Program, which is the TAP program we discussed at an earlier meeting. That can go on, right? Or does it be, yeah. or do we need to pass that? that? That's the one with the application deadline of Friday. So we need to pass it tonight. If it doesn't pass tonight, I'll probably call a special meeting. <laughs> it's up to you. Okay, at the appropriate time, I will ask the way for you to do on that one. Number nine is the acknowledgement for the grant continued use of an encroachment of the public right of way easement at 497 North High Street. That's up for the first reading, and it will go for three reads, I believe. And then number 10 is going to be. And I need to request that we waive the three-day three receipt rule on this one. And it has to do with 16, additional $16,430 is the city's share for resurfacing project on 159. So I need to make a motion to waive the three-day receipt rule. I have a motion to waive the three-day receipt rule on the paperwork you can hand it out. Second by Mrs. Neal. Roll call on that motion. Corcoran. Yes. Fairchild. Yes. Florima. Yes. Hines. Yes. Kearney. 
Yes. Neil. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Kroll. Yes. Tap. Yes. And we waive the three-day receipt rule. That will become item number ten this evening. Okay, and at the appropriate time, I wish to waive the three. Okay, three read rule on that one too. I'll request that another time. And that's all the engineering committee has at this time. Yeah, that was the one that that we got the invoice emailed today. Yeah. No doubt needed it back by June 8th. Right. So, if you want. so let's go ahead and get it done. Okay. okay. All right, Mr. Florina. Thank you, President Arnold. Safety services do not currently have an item on the agenda, uh, but I would like to introduce uh, assignment 18039, which you have. Um, and this is in regards to uh, $50,000 that uh, has been allocated already in the budget for the bond for the purchase of safety service vehicles. Um, you going to make a motion to buy that to yeah. be number 11 on yes. the agenda this evening? And with the three day receipt. With a uh, three day receipt rule uh, for moving forward that uh, piece of legislation that's been handed out to everybody. Um, seconded by Ms. Smith. Roll call on that uh, motion. Corcoran? Yes. Fairchild? Yes. Florima? Yes. Hines? Yes. Kearney? Yes. Neal? Yes. Patrick? Yes. Kroll? Yes. Patton? Yes. And we have waived the three day receipt rule that will become number 11 tonight. And at the appropriate time, I will be asking you to waive the three day rule. Okay. Okay. And uh, I would also like to uh, notify that Monday, on the 21st, in Council Chambers, immediately fo uh, following utilities, there will be a safety service uh, meeting uh, touching on item 17. 073 and 153 um, in regards to uh, parking tickets and again on the possible increase of uh, uh, probation officers in the court system and any other pertinent items. And that concludes my report. Thank you, Mr. Florian. Uh, anybody else? Anybody? Okay. Um, same time. Uh, go ahead. Uh, see you. Uh, thank you, President Arnold. Uh, this evening for the um, second reading, we have to authorize the City of Chillicothe to accept donations for the City Annual Fourth of July fireworks uh, display. And I will also be calling a meeting immediately following uh, the Safety Service next Monday to address Assignment 18046, Parks and Recreation, request for legislation to appropriate $27,606 for the Millennium Grove shelter. And that's all I have for now. Thank you, Ms. Corbin. Um, Mr. Roll. Okay. The Finance Committee has one item on tonight's agenda. That is item number six, which is at first reading, which is an ordinance to appropriate $12,549.70 in insurance funds received as security as a result of structure fire at 228 Western Avenue, Chillicothe, Ohio. At the appropriate time, I will ask that we waive the three read rules so this money can be processed. I also want to uh, advertise that we will also will be meeting, the Finance Committee will also be meeting Monday the 21st. That will be following the utilities meeting, which is followed by the safety service meeting, which is followed by the parks and recs meeting, and then the finance meeting. So you get your money's worth on the 21st, starting at 6. Okay. And that's all. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Sproul. Any other uh, committee reports this evening? Yes, Ms. Steve. Uh, development committee has no items on the agenda, but. Um, two pieces of pending uh, requests. One, the first one is number 17029 that um, was for the food truck ordinance. Um, this went to the law director on April 24th, so um, I assume we'll be seeing that next 
on the next agenda. Uh, the second item um, is to grant an additional uh, 11.69 acres of city land um, to Camp Sherman and the Ohio National Guard. Uh, this is also at the law director's office. Um, so we should be seeing that also on the next agenda. And that concludes my report. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Neal. <clears throat> Any other uh, committee reports? Mr. Hines. Thank you, President Arnold. Uh, City Services only has one item today. It is a third reading um, for the $30,000 for the first five annual installments, totaling $151,000 in change for the city share of costs to the law enforcement center. Um, I just petition everybody's support of that legislation. That's all I have. Thank you. Any other committee reports? Seeing none, we'll move on to uh, the reports by our officials. Thank you, President Arnold. Uh, I'd like to speak in support of the various items that are uh, up for final read tonight, those that have motions uh, that will be pending for passage on first reading, uh, particularly item 7 um, and item 8 and item 10, which all uh, relate to our relationships with outside agencies and moving forward on grants, um, particularly wanting to stay in their good graces. Um, item 11 as well to move forward with the purchase of uh, those vehicles. Um, want to update everybody on yard waste pickup, which has begun. Um, we have been running a successful program to date. Um, the demand has been perhaps a little less than we expected, but that's why we went with the call-in instead of uh, establishing committed routes. That phone number again is 740-773-9715. Um, the brown, uh, sort of more recyclable, compostable bags uh, or bundled sticks. Uh, call that number, we're aiming 48-hour pickup, but at the pace we're at now, probably likely to get 24 hour pickup. Um, <clears throat> the Renick site is uh, essentially done in terms of the cleanup. I'm sorry, in terms of the, the mulching. Um, the product that we're left with, we're gonna need to find a home for, and then we're gonna need to plan in place for uh, permanent reopening. In the meantime, uh, Saturdays at Consumer Center Drive have been working well. Yeah. Um, and we'll continue until further notice. That's 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, down by IHOP. Um, but we're working on a variety of options to reopen Renwick um, in a uh, cost effective way. Um, and that concludes my report. Thank you. Everybody, give me a second if you will. We'll back, John, and I'll check the parts of the because that might be the one. Yeah. Uh, Looks like yeah, that's it. it. All right, give us a sec second to redo here. Um, Crystal, really? Yeah. Okay. Um, I just want to ask for your support for item number 11 on the agenda. So that way we can get the financing completed so we can um, get the place of ours ordered because they shut down in June or July, so maybe we can get that done. That's a good part for um, Thank you, Ms. Stenner. Um, our law director, Ms. Weber. Thank you. Uh, I don't have anything to report on tonight. Okay, thank you, Ms. Weber. Um, I don't have anything to report on tonight other than. Um, Trying to get this up and running. Um, moving on, we uh, have audience participation. and not seeing any members in the audience for participation this evening. And, uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't mean it like that. I, you, you know, I, I don't think I've ever heard you speak in the whole time that I've ever. Oh, ever she been. speaks her mind when she gets a chance to. Uh, 
So we'll, uh, would you like to say anything to that? <laughs> um, we'll move on to old business. Does anybody have any old business they would like to take care of? Uh, yes, Ms. Patrick. Uh, I'll just put this on this old business. I just got a text from one of the residents asking about Veterans Park, if the city could know that. I went by that today and it, it's neat. Okay. And uh, also, and I don't know if we have an ordinance on this, but when people mow their grass and they blow all the footprints out street. into the street, if you're on a motorcycle and it's damp and you go to turn, it could be an accident real quick. So I, maybe that's something we can look into. Hey, Pat, the city does it too. Yeah, I know. I want you to say. I'm, I'll make a statement. I am absolutely surprised on how many yards that have not even been touched this year so far. Right now. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's unbelievable. That's all okay. This is Patrick. Where yeah. was it you said had not been moved? Uh, Veterans Park. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's your best for me. We find plenty of our own. received by the clerk. Uh, Mr. President, I received uh, several weeks ago, actually, a uh, notice from the Ohio Division of Liquor Control uh, in reference to the issuance of permits to Wild Roots Botanicals, LLC, of 59 East Water Street. And uh, if there is any uh, desire to uh, make any request for a hearing or objection, the postmark date have to be mailed is May 18th, so uh, I'm sorry that I'm just bringing that to council's attention, but I actually did just receive it right after the last regular meeting three weeks ago, so that's all I have, Mr. President. Thank you. Is it for a liquor license or a permit? Uh, it's for permit, liquor permits, uh, C1 and C2 at uh, 59 East Water Street. Okay. I'm just trying to figure Wild out what Roots Botanicals LLC. I don't know why they have liquor permits. That's, that's, that's what I'm asking. 59 East Water. That's, that's the location of it. I, yeah, it's I, right there across from, uh, I mean, it's yeah, by the bank and, uh, you know, it's where those... Little, the house is, and then it's a little brick building right there. I right share the post on Bill Chillicothe all the time, but I didn't yeah. know they had liquor service there. So. Oh, okay. Botanicals and liquor. <laughs> I'm wondering what botanicals are. Maybe the LLC. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Fawson. Uh, moving on, we uh, have uh, new business. Anybody have any new business? Not seeing any. We move on to meeting dates. Um, uh, Monday the 21st, it appears at 6 o'clock. We have uh, a week from today, we have transit, finance, uh, safety services. Am I missing anything? Parks and rec? 
Utilities kicking it off. Which is transit. Transit utilities. Okay. Transit okay. So um, we'll have uh, that'll be a full evening of committees. Uh, moving on to legislation. Uh, whenever you're ready, Mr. Paulson, if anybody, unless anybody has anything to add. Item number one. <coughs> Third reading of an ordinance <coughs> appropriating $30,224.80 for the first of five annual installments totaling $151,124 for the city's share of costs for upcoming improvements to the Law Enforcement Center. Third reading. Roll call on that legislation. Corker. Yes. Fairchild. Yes. Florima. Yes. Hines. Yes. Kearney. Yes. Neal. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Kroll. Yes. Patton. Yes. And that ordinance has passed. Item number two. Third reading of an ordinance approving the Planning Commission's decision to permit Mobileite LLC to erect two utility poles with attached antennas on Bridge Street for the expansion of cellular service. Third reading. Roll call on that. <laughs> Corcoran. Yes. Fairchild. Yes. Marina. Yes. Hines. Yes. Kearney. Yes. Neil. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Roll. Yes. Tatman. Yes. And that ordinance has passed. Item number three. Second reading of an ordinance authorizing the city of Chillicothe to accept donations for the city's annual 4th of July fireworks display. Second reading. Now we'll move on. Item number four. Second reading of a resolution supporting the 2018 Chillicothe City Council Strategic Plan, second reading. And that will move on. Item number five. First reading of an ordinance accepting an Ohio Courts Technology Grant in the amount of $38,350 and declaring an emergency. First reading. That will move on. Uh, item number six. First reading of an ordinance appropriating $12,549.70 in insurance funds received as security as the result of a structure fire at 228 Western Avenue, Chillicothe, Ohio, and declaring an emergency. First reading. Mr. Polk. At this time, I'd ask that we please waive the three read rule. I have a motion to waive the three lead rules, seconded by Mrs. Patrick. I will call on that motion. Corcoran. Yes. Fairchild. Yes. Florima. Yes. Hines. Yes. Kearney. Yes. Neal. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Rolls. Yes. Tatton. Yes. Uh, we've waived the uh, three lead rule. Uh, roll call on the legislation. Corcoran. Yes. Fairchild. Yes. Florima. Yes. Hines. Yes. Kearney. Yes. Neal. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Roll. Yes. Tatton. Yes. And that ordinance has passed. Item number seven. First reading of a resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to apply for and enter into an agreement with the Ohio Public Works Commission Issue 1 Grant Funds Program for the year 2018 to be used for streets and alley and curb ramp rehabilitation within the city of Chillicothe to accept grant funds if awarded and declaring an emergency. First reading. Uh, Mr. Patton. At this time, I'd like to request that we waive the three read rule. I have a motion to waive the three read rule. Seconded by Mr. Florima. We'll call on that motion. Corcoran. Yes. Fairchild. Yes. Florima. Yes. Hines. Yes. Kearney. Yes. Neal. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Kroll. Yes. Tatton. Yes. Uh, we've uh, made a uh, way for three we roll roll call on the uh, legislation. Corcoran. Yes. Fairchild. Yes. Florima. Yes. Hines. Yes. Kearney. Yes. Neal. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Kroll. Yes. Tatton. Yes. And that resolution has passed. Item number eight. 
First reading of a resolution authorizing the mayor to file an application with the Ohio Department of Transportation for the 2018 Transportation Alternative Program and declaring an emergency. First reading. Mr. Tyler. At this time, I'd like to request that we waive the three read rule. I have a motion to waive the three read rule, seconded by uh, um, Mrs. Fairchild. Mrs. Fairchild, roll call on that motion. Corker. Yes. Fairchild. Yes. Florima. Yes. Hines. Yes. Kearney. Yes. Neal. Yes. yes. Patrick. Yes. Kroll. Yes. Tapp. Yes. Uh, we approve the motion to waive the three read rule. Roll call on the uh, legislation. Corker. Yes. Fairchild. Yes. Florima. Yes. Hines. Yes. Kearney. Yes. Neal. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Kroll. Yes. Tapp. Yes. And that resolution has passed. Number nine. First reading of an ordinance acknowledging and granting continued use of an encroachment on the public right of way easement to Teresa Lynn Reinhardt and her successors in interest for a garage as currently constructed at 497 North High Street, Chillicothe, Ohio, and declaring an emergency. First reading. That will move on. Item number 10. First reading of an ordinance appropriating funds in the amount of $16,430 as the city's additional share of the cost to resurface a portion of State Route 159 between Main Street and Marietta Road and declaring an emergency. First reading. Mr. Tavon. Again, I'd like to request we we'll waive the three read rule. Motion to waive three read rule, setting by Mr. Hines. Roll call on that motion. Corker. Yes. Fairchild. Yes. Florima. Yes. Hines. Yes. Kearney. Yes. Neal. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Kroll. Yes. Tap. Yes. Uh, that motion has passed. Roll call on the legislation. Corker. Yes. Fairchild. Yes. Florima. Yes. Hines. Yes. Kearney. Yes. Neal. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Kroll. Yes. Tap. Yes. And that ordinance has passed. Item number 11. First reading of an ordinance providing for the issuance of not to exceed $305,000 vehicle acquisition bonds and declaring an emergency. First reading. Mr. Florina. At this time, I'd like to motion to waive the three I have a motion to waive the three rules, second by Ms. Corcoran. Roll call on that motion. Corker. Yes. Fairchild. Yes. Florina. Yes. Hines. Yes. Kearney. Yes. Neal. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Roll. Yes. Pat. Yes. The motion has passed. Roll call on the legislation. Corker. Yes. Fairchild. Yes. Florina. Yes. Hines. Yes. Kearney. Yes. Neal. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Roll. Yes. Tap. Yes. And then that ordinance has passed. Does anybody have anything else they'd like to add to the evening? If not, we have a motion to adjourn it. And Mr. Florina, seconded by Mr. Hines. We'll call on adjournment. Corker. Yes. Fairchild. Yes. Florina. Yes. Hines. Yes. Kearney. Yes. Neal. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Cole. Yes. 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 We are adjourned.